Rockford, a local couple devastated by the loss of their son. What started as nagging back pain eventually led Neil Favron on a path to an early death. In a civil lawsuit, Neil's mom and dad blamed their son's downfall on surgeries they say weren't even necessary. Tonight, they speak out publicly for the very first time in a continuing WLWT investigation, the fugitive doctor and the scars left behind. Does this look like a 34 year old Marine? A young man who played football growing up and working construction with his dad? This is Neil Favron in December of 2013, less than a year before he died. This is what Neil turned into. The old Neil, after three surgeries and relentless pounding pain, was gone. Uh, always worked out, very, very fit, uh, did construction, active as hell. Oh my God, I was, I, I was an uncle, a brother, a son, and I'm none of those anymore. The video of Neil was recorded by his family's attorney, Eric Dieters. It gives us unfiltered insight into the personal hell a local family endured during life, and it continues after death. There's probably literally not an hour of the day that goes by that he's not in our thoughts in some way. For mom, Linda, it's a little easier to verbalize the grief. Dad, John, is a different story. So sorry, I can't do this crap. John's buddy is no longer here to go on those trips to their favorite fishing hole in Cambridge, Ohio. I don't have my son, we don't go fishing. John hasn't worked a day since Neil died in mom and dad's Mason home in November of 2014. His wife Linda says it almost felt like their son's tragedy unfolded in slow motion, nagging back pain from a physical lifestyle, the military, sports, working strenuous jobs, and then a minor car accident in 2008. She says Neil suffered whiplash after his vehicle was rear-ended. He needed help. He found Dr. Atik Durrani. Linda remembers Durrani's diagnosis. He said, your neck is really bad. And he said, you're going, you're going to need surgery like right away on your neck. Or if, if you fall or stumble or the least thing happened to you, you could end up paralyzed. In a haunting message, seemingly from the grave, Neil explains why he made the decision to allow Dr. Durrani to operate on him. He put the fear of God in me. According to the civil complaint beginning in the spring of 2010, Durrani performed three surgeries on Neil at Westchester Hospital over a seven month period. Durrani was not an employee at Westchester Hospital, but he did have privileges there. He suffered for four years from the time he had his surgeries, the three, until he passed away. Um, it just, every single month that went by, it would get worse. To deal with the unforgiving pain, Linda says Neil relied heavily on medication. In the summer of 2014, feeling tortured about who he had become and how much he had to rely on others, Linda says he tried to end it all by popping a large quantity of pills. He felt like he was useless and he couldn't work and he was a financial burden. And Neil, that wasn't Neil, that was not the, person Neil grew up to be. Neil survived the overdose and Linda says he apologized to the family for putting them through such a horrible experience. She says her son told her, if God decided not to take me that day, he must have other plans for me. Just four months later, while sleeping through the writhing pain at his parents' home, God came calling. A body that had taken a beating, finally giving out. He had congestive heart failure, which we didn't even know he was suffering from, and it had to have come on fairly quickly within a period of a week or so. In a civil lawsuit filed in early 2014, Neil Favron accuses Dr. Durrani of performing surgeries that were medically unnecessary. The suit alleges hospital management and employees, such as nurses and technicians, either knew or should have known surgery was medically unnecessary based on Dr. Durrani's known practices. UC Health, the owner of Westchester Hospital, declined to be interviewed, telling WLWT it does not comment on pending litigation. In court, Westchester Hospital has filed several motions to dismiss, but the case remains alive. In fact, Dr. Durrani's attorney told me his client will be interviewed during video depositions from Pakistan three times in the next three weeks to discuss the Favaron case and many others. In previous depositions and court filings, Dr. Durrani has denied all allegations. Before he died, Neil had this message for Durrani. 
what's done is done, and he has to he has to deal with his demons. Now, a little more than three years after Neil's death, his father John is beyond frustrated. The suit still has not been resolved. Why are they fighting this? Why are they keep it going? It just keeps going on. And it doesn't do anything but tear us apart. Dr. Durrani is facing civil lawsuits filed on behalf of hundreds of his former patients here in greater Cincinnati. He is also facing federal charges accused of performing unnecessary surgeries and health care fraud. Federal authorities say that he took off for Pakistan in 2013 to avoid a trial. Because of the litigation, there was actually a gag order in place for two years. Patients and families couldn't talk. Well, now they can, and they're speaking exclusively with us.